If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Hello, Laz on the Road subscribers and followers. I made a video the, the other day that talked about the balancing act and trying to save money and avoiding the weather and, and just different things. I'll put a link to that video right here. But I wanted to follow up with it on a more specific issue, which is the subject of money and living out here, trying to live cheaply, doing everything so uh, you, you don't have to, you know, work a full-time job, work 60, 70, 80, 90 hours a week, stressing yourself out day after day after day, but being able to come out here, save your life, and live fairly inexpensively. You really have to set your priorities because you can end up spending more living out here on free land in a small camper than you could in a stick and brick if you're not careful. I mean, we're talking about financial uh, planning, financial stability, budgeting, all these things. And I see a lot of people come out here thinking, well, I'm just going to save all kinds of money. And all of a sudden, they're not saving money. They're in worse shape. As a matter of fact, we met a pe uh, some folks, older folks, in Florida. And they were living off of fixed income, Social Security, and food stamps. They got paid. And so they went out, and they bought some groceries, and did this and that, and this and that. And within, I don't know, several days, they were out of money. They had an old vehicle that they had to replace and their plan was to go from Florida to Louisiana to buy another car but they weren't sure the car they had would actually make it to Louisiana so they were just they kept burying themselves in more and more financial issues because they weren't planning out what they needed to spend their money on now sometimes we go over budget and there's usually a reason we've traveled an extended period or or we had an emergency we had to deal with but most of the time you'll see that we're trying to always reduce the amount of money we're spending you'll see sometimes we'll spend 850 dollars which is our budget sometimes we'll spend 650 dollars which is 200 dollars on our budget and this last time you'll see that we spent 550 dollars on our, on our expenses and so we're always trying to do better so we can save more money and stay out here and and really enjoy the environment with that comes more work taking a shower let's use taking a shower for example when you want to take a shower in a stick and brick you can just turn on the water jump in the shower and you're done with me it's an hour-long event i gotta get my water which is a whole different story i made video after video about how we get water i have to filter the water i have to hook up my water heater i have to get the tub out so we can collect the the gray water and use it for laundry i have to get the shower curtains up which is the tarp and so after about an hour, I can take a shower. Just today, I set up the shower. And I try to post a video every day at, at 2 o'clock. That means I start up the generator. Ah, oh, there's another thing that you, you, I have to do that you don't have to do in a stick and break. Well, at about 1.15, I wasn't really paying attention to time, and I started setting up the shower. Now, if it had been in a house at 1.15, I'd taken a shower. I'd gotten out of the shower, and I'd have posted my video. But here, by the time I got the shower set up, it was time to post a video. So I had all this thing set up in the way I mean, of our living space, but I had to go post the video. So it takes more effort. Running the generator, which isn't a hard task, but imagine this. You get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, okay, and you want to check your emails. Of course, I do because I, I, I work online, so I want to check my emails, and I want to check the comments on YouTube, and I want to check the comments on, on Facebook. So I got all these chores I want to get done first thing in the morning. In a second break, you get up, you go into the office or the living room. I used to go in the living room, and I would do that function. Out here, I get up. I climb over Carolyn, I put my shoes on, if it's raining, I put my co uh, raincoat on, I go outside, I start the generator, I turn on the internet, because our internet's through our truck on OnStar, so I gotta open, get the, uh, and if I, and for some reason, I always like to forget the keys inside the camper, so that means I gotta walk back to the camper, get the keys, come back, and I know all this sounds ridiculous, like, oh, who cares, that's not a big deal, it's not, nope, not a big deal, but it's more work than what you're accustomed to. If you just take the time to work the problem, because that's all you got out here is time. Instead of having to work for an employer, you're working for yourself to take care of yourself. That's all it is. Cooking takes longer. You got to set up the, uh, the coma stove, or you got to start up a campfire. You got to do these things. Everything takes longer. Now, here's the one thing that I really think that a lot of people are not understanding. G gas cost. A lot of people criticize me and Carolyn, and it's okay. I understand the criticism. I want to listen to them because I want to be able to help them. People tell me all the time, I need to be traveling more. 
th what's the point of coming out here if you're not traveling? You're traveling and you're wanting to do this lifestyle cheaply, which is usually the criteria. If you're watching this channel, you're usually looking for more inexpensive ways to, to do things. If you're traveling, you're spending all that money, 19 miles a gallon. Video after video, I've showed how much it costs to go from one location to another. I think we, uh, we spent over a two month period to get from Florida to South Dakota, I think we spent in the area $350. Now my budget for gas in one month is 160. So if I'd have been in a hurry and I'd have ran from Florida all the way to South Dakota, I'd have doubled my budget and we'd have been stuck here because I didn't have any more gas money to go anywhere for two or three months. But instead we took our time and we slowly crept up here. We stopped in Missouri, we visited my mother, we visited Carolyn's daughter. Over a two month period, we finally made it to South Dakota and we were right on budget. But that's the thing is you gotta have planning. You gotta be able to plan out this stuff. So many people tell me, well, if the weather's bad, just leave and go to you know a, a warmer slash cooler climate. Again, if you're gonna do that, then you're gonna run out of money. You're trying to, to minimize expenses and traveling is just one of those things that's gonna kill you. Right now, I cannot tell you what the price of gas is. The whole country is complaining about the price of gas. I see it all the time on Facebook, but I can't tell you what it is because the truck has been full on gas for the last four weeks. We just don't move around a lot, but we are enjoying our life. Now, here's the thing, we are traveling. Just like I said, two months ago we were in Florida, a month ago we were in Missouri, and now we're in South Dakota. So we are traveling, we're just not doing it breakneck speeds. And we're not doing it every time the wind changes. Now, the other aspect of this is the longer you stay in the area, the more you learn the area. And the more you learn, the, ch the more you're going to learn about the cheaper stores that you can shop at, places that might be closer. For example, the first time we went and got water, I mean, it was a, it was a I don't know, 60 mile round trip. The second time we got water, it was a mile. A lot more cost effective to travel that mile. But I didn't know on the first trip that that place existed. But over time, you start to learn these things. Slow your pace down and, and be prepared for bad weather. That's just going to happen. But you don't need to move every time there's bad weather. I see so many people say, well, I'm going to go over here and then realize it's no better. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.